everybody. Welcome to Foley's Crochet Creations. I'm Tori, your hostess. First off, I want to say Happy Halloween to all of my yarny friends out there, uh, my YouTube followers. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Um, I'm pretty much not going to go anywhere. I'm pretty much the sick patient in bed. <laughs> it has been almost three weeks since my surgery um, I have I get my pins and my stitches out on November 23rd I have an appointment this Thursday then I'm in another two weeks after that and then I get the stitches and the pins out um, and then I can start actually healing a lot a lot better right now what's happening is it's healing but it's the skin is pulling around the the pins now um so it's um causing a little pain what have i been up to well i've been doing a lot of crochet uh, a lot of sleeping taking pain meds um i did finish a blanket this is my scrap can. I grabbed a whole bunch of different yarns, etc. And I threw it into one big, huge ball. And I got to a point, and then I thought, you know what? I'm just going to tie this off, whether I use it for a baby blanket, whether I use it just to cover up my leg, um, to keep my leg warm. Whatever. Um, this is got a lot of my favorite yarns in here um, anything that pops anything that has color anything that's different and unique and that's what it is this hat is uh, Barnett premium yarn um, I can't remember I think it's candy stripes or something like that um, but I made the hat I am working on a cowl with this. I kind of go from project to project. When I get tired of working on one project, I go to the next. And when I get tired of working on that one, I go to the next. So I got what you call, uh, what you call startitis. I did get a few projects done, like this project, the blanket. Um, I'm going to start on a different blanket later. I did get a baby blanket done. This is my back loop slide baby blanket. Now what I've done is this here is the Caron baby cakes in the color candy hearts okay this is the green is the um econo value yarn and it's in the color mint this is the red heart um comfort yarn the big you know the big balls yeah, this is that's what this is, and it's in the colorway rose. So this is a back loop slide baby blanket. This is the effect you get on one side, and I did a shell stitch, my sh shell stitch, and then Pico Cathedral corners. Um, but this is the effect you get on one side with the back loop slide, and then on the other side. This is the other side that you get. This is the effect. And it kind of looks like a little train tracks for the back loop slide. I am in the future. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do in the future as soon as I'm done showing you all the makes. Um, I don't want to be one of these podcasters that goes from here to here to here to here to here to here. Okay. So that is another make. Uh, that's three in don't laugh at my hair but this is my poncho hood okay that's my poncho hood I love this color this is made in the facet yarn um, can't remember the name of the, the yarn but this is, yeah. All right. I'm going to 
going to put it on to show you. Pull that down. So I start out making a poncho, the poncho part, right? And then I get it to as, as long as I want it. Um, I did outline it with the royal purple. And when I did the border, I did it backwards. That's okay, because this is only for me anyway. So this is uh, the facet yarn. This is the loops and threads in the purple. And this edging here is the facet yarn as well. And this is called my poncho hood. So when I go back to work and I go back on my night shift and then I come get off in the morning, I don't want to see the sun. I can just go like this. And I don't have to see the sun. Close my eyes for my five minute ride home and then bugged your uncle. Okay. So, and then when you're out and about, if you want, you can just lay it down, right? And this is the poncho hood I designed. Um, I will, I love this. This is so gorgeous. So, um, now in the next few weeks because I'm not exactly sure if uh, my podiatrist is actually going to after I'm well enough to actually walk on my left foot if he's actually going to go right straight to doing my right foot if so then I'll be off until probably after Christmas um, I found out from work after a month of trying to find out information I found out from work that uh, I can't like this, uh, go through short-term disability for both of my surgeries that I have to go through short-term disability to start with they pay for two weeks then I have to apply for EI go on medical EI for 15 weeks when I'm done my medical EI then I can go back on short-term disability okay did not know that and I've been trying to find out information for about a month so if I hadn't known that, I would have applied for EI right after I was done my last shift. So, but live and learn, learn right? And I, these surgeries have to be done because I still need to keep going for probably the next 20 some years at my job until I'm ready to retire. So, next few weeks I'm going to be doing some new stitch. Uh, learning new stitches this is a crochet stitch Bible that I've had now I picked this up and I do have to do some taping on it but I picked this up at MCC I believe and I think it was maybe 50 cents or a dollar I'm not sure but I love this book this is my favorite book and I'm going to be doing a lot of learning a lot of different stitches um, and I have some little note thingies that my dear friend Patty Trafton had just popped in a bag for me. So if I see something I want to do, then I can just put a sticky note on top, a sticky arrow, and then I can go to that page. So this is what I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm also going to use this book it is called the crochet block bible now this is my this is what i'm really interested in doing this here was a gift from my dear friend cynthia from sinful creations she gifted this to me and it came in the day before my surgery so I was actually able to lay in bed for two weeks that I couldn't get up and only the only time I could get up is going to the bathroom. Um, so I've been looking at this and there's a lot of things in here that I want to try too. So I'm going to be uh, working on that and working on learning new blocks and new stitches and, and whatnot. Um, now. 
for the purpose of this video, <laughs> not only did I want to show my makes, and I don't know if I showed this in the last video, but if I didn't, I'm showing it to you now. Um, I stopped by, went to EI, stopped by MCC this, this morning. My wonderful sister, Joan, uh, gave me a ride down because hubby can't drive right now. Um, so we stopped by MCC. Now I'm going to show you the yarn last. I didn't find much yarn, and what I did find I found to be a little bit pricey. So, um, what I could get before for like $2 or $3 is now almost like $10, $12. Are you trying to help me? Come on. Come on, move. I got a little helper here. She wants to help. She wants to help. You gonna say hi, Mika? You say hi, Mika? She has been my companion, my friend, my pal. She doesn't leave my side. Usually I'm on the other side of the bed, but I wanted to do the video recording. And the only way that I could do that is by because my tripod won't fit on the other side of the bed. So I had to sit over on my husband's side of the bed. But she's been my, she's been my companion, my guard kitty. Um, when I, when I was actually able to go in the living room, I sat on the couch with my leg elevated for a couple hours and she was in here waiting for me. And then she comes into the living room and she just looks at me like, why are you not in bed? Get into bed. So, but yeah, that's that's my companion, my guard, guard kitty, my pal, my friend. So, anyway, back on topic, MCC. So I picked up um, this leaflet. It has four crochet patterns for vests and, um, Four knit patterns and I only paid like 50 cents for it I think something like that so I'm gonna see if there's something in here that I want to try also I picked up anytime I'm at MCC and I see crochet world crochet magic anything like that I pick up anything that says crochet now this is a lot of doily uh, patterns and I might actually just try my hand at doing doilies. I don't know how well I'll do them, but um, this is the crochet or magic crochet. And there's a whole slew of different patterns in here um, for this. Now, this is what I pay for these books. <clears throat> Put it the right way. 50 cents. So I got that one. And there's some really cute projects in here. Um, could be interesting. Got that one. And there's a doily on the back. That's nice. I might try that one. And then there's this crochet, it's called decorative crochet, and this is pretty much all doilies. Wait, right. all doilies. Um, doily on the front, doily on the back. And like I said, these are all 50 cents, and I, I don't mind paying 50 cents for a crochet magazine. Um, another crochet magazine of doilies and pictures and they have fillet these are fillet stitch pictures like for example that's Phyllis that's a fillet stitch picture these are absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna actually try 
my hand at doing something like this. This is the one I really like and I do want to try and do this shawl right there. And then here's some of the patterns. This is the shawl that I want to try and do. Um, this is the, it says three stunning projects in Irish crochet. Uh, uh, this is a square shawl and here's a better picture of it. Is that not gorgeous? I love that and I am definitely going to try that. And then here's another one of just doily patterns, Christmas decorations, and gold, red, white, and green. And here's some decorations that we can make that I have the patterns for. Um, here's uh, some more decorations. And here is a tablecloth, I believe it is. And there's just so much stuff in these magazines and it gives me something to actually read instead of watching TV all the time on my phone or or whatnot um, TV on my computer I am in it going to do more lives and I'm probably going to do a lot more lives on my channel um, my dear friend Coco from cocktails and crochet with Coco she's actually going to try and help me out in doing lives on my channel um, I found some yarn now this is where the ball band went for this one my little Mika was walking around on my yarn um, but I got three balls of this and this is called merino alpaca super soft yarn and it's 60% merino wool and 40% super fine alpaca super soft uh, alpaca merino. Now I got three balls of this and it is it is nice and soft. It smells a little bit old but you know once you do your hand wash dry flat um, little thing. I might, I might make a hat and cowl out of this if I can. Um, I thought I seen a price tag on here but I guess it didn't. Uh, unless that is like $21 a ball. Wow. And I paid, uh, what was it? $3. It's a dollar, dollar a piece. Hey, a dollar a piece for merino wool and alpaca? Oh yeah, I'll get that any day. And then I bought this one here. Get it out of the bag. This one I paid a dollar for. If you can see that. Yeah, one dollar. And this is called uh, Al Alera. And Alera is 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. 50 gram balls, 142 or 140 meters, so about 150, 155 yards, four millimeter knitting needles. Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you see just the needles, then that means it's a four millimeter crochet hook as well. And it is a lightweight number three. Uh, let's see. I think that's a yeah that's a good good number three I like that I thought about making a hat out of this one as well I love making hats crystal from bag o' day crochet you got me on making hats there sweetheart I have never done um, canvas pla plastic canvas so I picked up this this was 50 cents as well their circular plastic canvas and I thought I might try my hand at doing plastic canvas you never know not that I need another craft project to do or another yeah, another craft 
to start buying for? No. Because I got stitch markers, I got crochet, anything crochet, um, yarn as a hobby, craft, whatever, purchasing yarn as a craft, um, buying magazines like anything crochet magazines and stuff like that. That's a craft. So, but I thought I might try my hand at doing like whatever you call it. Um, plastic canvas. So upcoming videos, I want to try and do some more stitch tutorials and I'm also going to work on um, doing a tutorial for my poncho cowl or poncho hood. This is my hooded poncho. Um, I want to do a tutorial on that. I want to do a tutorial on my uh, virus cowl. I want to do a tutorial on a 3D cowl. I want to do a tutorial on the back loop slide beanie. Um, I want to do a tutorial on the back loop slide and how to do the back loop slide. I also want to do a tutorial on the front loop slide because I thought, okay, if I can do it with the back loop slide, why not try the front loop slide? Um, so there's a lot of different tutorials and stuff that I'm going to be starting to do and it is going to take some time to do a tutorial. Um, I've gotten to the point where I could probably lay my leg down on the bed instead of, instead of having it elevated. So uh, what else? I am going to be crocheting some ponchos for some teddy bears and putting them in a, a big bag so that I can donate them to either work or donate them to, um, what do you call it, King of Trade um, for their Christmas campaign that they have. Um, so I'm going to start doing some uh, capes. That's another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial on the miniature version of Crystal's Easy V Stitch Cape. I'm going to do it small enough for a teddy bear. And then I think that's going to be probably the first one that I do is the Easy V Stitch miniature version, uh, miniature cape. Um, so I'm going to do some stuff like that. So um, I can't remember at the beginning of the video whether I wish you all have, have a happy, safe Halloween. Um, me, I'm just pretty much a sick patient in bed. Everybody asks me, are you going out for Halloween? It's like, no, not on crutches. Um, but I'm more than happy to accept candy. If anybody wants to drop candy off to me, then hey, all the power to you, right? Because I like chocolate bars, right? So um, those are my plans for the next little while. Um, I'm hoping that the doctor will go from doing the left foot to doing the right foot and we get that all done and over with and then by February of next year I can actually get back to work and start actually working. Um, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. That's what happens. And uh, other than that, not much else is happening. I am going to start doing tutorials probably tomorrow. I'm going to probably start doing some tutorials. I also want to throw in some jewelry making uh, tutorials. Like, I make stitch markers, and the thing with making jewelry and the thing with crochet is you got to let your imagination fly, okay? Um, you can't be in, in a tunnel vision. Okay, this is what I'm going to do and this is how I'm going to do it. You can't be tunnel tunnel vision. If I if I was tunnel tunnel vision, I would never have created this. Never. And if I was tunnel vision, you see that you see that sh uh, shawl there? Well, that is the um that is my angel shawl. When I first started crocheting, that's what I designed, okay? And if I was tunnel vision, I never would have thought of putting a square and two triangles together, okay? 
If I was tunnel vision, I never would have designed this hooded cowl. And this, I love this hooded cowl. You can go peekaboo. So, um, I don't think there's anything else that I need to let you know. So I'm going to say for now, if you find something on YouTube that you like to do or you're interested in doing, don't quit. Keep trying because eventually you'll get it. And it's a light bulb will go off in your head and you'll be like, oh, well, that's how you do it. Okay, cool. Okay, don't quit. Keep trying. Um, you all have a great day evening weekend wherever you may be have a happy and safe halloween and you guess it oh i want to wish felicia um patsy from patsy's crochet i want to wish felicia felicia a very happy birthday okay um and you guessed it keep on hooking i'll catch you on the next video Bye for now.